Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Don't forget to subscribe to us and don't forget you can follow us on social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, what have you. Now today I'm going to do a few reviews on Cast King. I recently purchased a Cast King rod and reel. First fish on of the day, oh my goodness. He just smashed it. Just put a gulp on because, you know, I'm just desperate. So, feels like a red. Yep, that's a nice one. Uh. Uh. Oh yes. First fish of the day. Pink mullet. What do you think you got a pink mullet for? Oh yeah. 22 and a half. One more look at this beauty. This crushers. I use their casking superpower braided line. But before I jump into that, I just want to talk to you about their gloves. These are their casking so arm mist gloves these are uv ray protective gloves so i like these gloves they feel great they have some nice grip to them and also they have the open fingertips so i've been using these i used these last summer you'll see me start wearing these a lot more i know they carry i think six different colors so if you're interested in any kind of kayak gloves or fishing gloves weight fishing gloves these do a great job also quick dry very easy to put on and put off like I said before great grip so that is their gloves I highly recommend those I've been I enjoy using fishing gloves I've used fishing gloves for man maybe 10 years now but those have been my favorite so far all right so I went with the cast keen rod and reel combo I want it to pair up a reel and a rod that's gonna do this type of style of fishing that I do the wade fishing, I want something I wanted something that could be a hybrid between between wade fishing and the type of kayak fishing that I do. Something that's gonna hold up to a solid red, a solid flounder, a solid trout, and still be lightweight enough to cast a hundred, two hundred, a thousand times without just wearing me out. At the same time, I wanted to keep price in perspective. I didn't want to break the bank on any high end or upper end rod and reel. So I reached out to a great guy, Magic Yacker. I hit him up. I asked him if he could give me any recommendations. I'm trying to do a review, a product review. I want to fish with Cast King. I own Cast King rods and reels before. There's a couple rods that I still use. I have used their braided line for, man, I couldn't even tell you how long I've used their braided line. I think since since I first started using braided line, I have used their, their braided line and I have never been disappointed. I put it on everything from small ultralights to big surf rods and everything in between. So, reached out, said, recommend can you recommend a few and I'll go from there so one of the recommendations that he made was on their speed demon rod it is speed demon pro tournament bass series rod yes I'm using it in the salt water to me I don't care I'm all water I'll use fresh water setups in salt water you just got to take you just got to baby him you got to take extra care of him got to oil him up got to clean him up you just have to rinse them off you know and do the right things for your equipment and just take care of it and it will last you i'm not gonna get too much into the specs i will list them below and also pop them up on the screen here and there but this rod feels great i went with sorry i'm reading it off here i went with the shaky head seven foot medium light fast now i went with a seven foot rod for the simple fact that i spent a lot of time sitting in my kayak so i want to get that extra distance every inch matters as far as trying to get that extra sorry i'm looking at the rod trying to get the 
extra dis distance and whip that lure out there. There, it's a very cool design, very sweet. They, this is the little place where you put your lure or your hook. It's below the reel setup, which I was kind of curious about that. I didn't know how well that was going to work, but you know what? It works good. I like it down there. I really do. It Whenever you put your hook in there and you crank your reel, the line stays out of the way with that, so I like it. But you can see the design on this is just really awesome. Speed Demon. The eyes on it are great. I haven't had any issues of any kind of blue machine. I've used it several times out there. I have caught bass with this. I caught a nice big speck with this. Flounder with this. I just recently caught a nice 21 and a half inch red. And let me tell you, it just handled them. It handled them like a boss. I wasn't disappointed at all. It has Fuji LV style guides on it. Like I said, all the specs will be below for you. I'm not I'm not a big spec kind of guy. I'm really not. So I'm probably like one of the worst people to do a review. But I just want to share price, price point, budget friendly. I don't even know what that means. People say it all the time. I bought this is a budget friendly rod. I don't know. You know, if you can afford it and it doesn't, you don't, you can still put gas in your tank and still put food on the table. That's budget friendly to me. So, but I picked this. Let me see. I paid one hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So this is one piece spinning reel rod. In case I didn't say that, feels great. Feels great in the hand. I love it. Specs on here: action, moderate fast, power, medium light line weight 6 to 12 pounds lure weight 1 8 to 3 8 ounces uh, I have 15 pound braid on it I think I said I put 20 pound braid on it but I stand corrected because I checked the order on Amazon and I did use 15 pound braid alright now that leaves us with the Cascane Sharky 3 spinning reel carbon fiber 39 and a half max drag 10 plus 1 stainless steel bearings this is for salt or fresh water has an oversized shaft and it's just a tremendous reel also has a anti-twist line roller right here bell comes up and down cast great line just comes straight out has an aluminum spool has a water resistant interior frame the grip feels great in the hand to the touch you can just see here this is just a awesome little reel great price point it's $52.99 on Amazon today great for a lot of the fishing that I do I have pulled out some bass out of the pond with this all right a little guy I have pulled out some decent sized flounder. Oh, yep. Oh, come on. Yeah. Just missing 16 and a half. Thick though. And I just recently pulled out a very good size red. Said good success with it. I think it's gonna be a little short. No? <laughs> My eyes have deceived me. He's 21 and a half. Almost 21 and three quarters. It's about 21 and a half inch. It felt great. Pulling a lot of drag. Interrupted his day. He was just chilling in the flats and I interrupted his day for a little while, but this reel handled that fish amazing. Got him on the deck, spent a little time with him, and released him back on his way. But if you're looking for a nice reel out there that's not going to break the bank, I suggest you check out Casking Sharky 3. You can't go wrong with their braid. It is a great price point out there. I have used it for years. This reel will will hold 200 yards, 20 pound line, 190 yards, 30 pound line. I have it paired with 15 pound braided line and as you saw, 
it does a great job don't forget check out their gloves if you're interested in some nice sun gloves that feel great and do their job check them out and Cascaine Speed Demon Pro this rod is a beast it's gonna pull a lot of fish out this spring and this summer I can't wait to get back out there and hook up to some of those mid to upper slot reds with this combination but thanks thanks for coming back don't forget to subscribe check us out also on our other social media platforms everything all the descriptions links are below until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks <laughs>